Hello and welcome to a Minecraft Bedrock mod review. Today I'll be looking at a Vein Miner and Tree Capitator mod. So, let's get into it. So, first off, the most important thing to do with uh, the pickaxe is that it doesn't really work with uh, the enchantments. So what you need to do to activate the uh, Vein Miner and Tree Capitator is to hold shift and then mine what you want and then as you can see you didn't do anything because it's still touch and uh, fortune will work but the problem is that it doesn't give you any bonus or except for the one you mined uh, and uh, here these arrows are 10 um, so I got 20 from that so I didn't even get a bonus one for my fortune free for mining that one and also, yeah, don't... So that is a trade-off with this. It doesn't work with Silk Touch or Fortune. So you... So there's no real uh, point in having them. It works with them, and it works with them. They are separate because they work off separate things. You know, they've got more gold and gold nuggets, so they do work off separate things. Got diamonds. Now I do want to, um, so if you don't hold shift it won't vein mine, but there is a bit of an exploit here where if you shift and then throw the ore onto it, it will act as if you mined it with a pickaxe, which is a bit of an exploit and it works for like all of these, so, um, yeah, that is something to keep in mind, um, but it's like fun when you mine a coal ore and it drops onto another coal ore and then that coal ore gets mine. Apparently it does not like deep slate redstone. Like at all. So that's the first ore that you can't mine with this. You can mine deep slate coal though. What about copper? Copper can be mined. Be mined. Emeralds? Yeah, emeralds! Which is, which is odd in my opinion, because you're only going to really get one ore per vein of emeralds, yet you're going to get more red I don't know. It's just we need these weird things. Um, Alright, let me just grab the silk touch real quick and just make absolutely sure. I don't want to make any mistakes. Do you want to get called out in the comments section? Like, oh, what if you did this? Oh. Yeah. Okay, so it does work with redstone, but only sometimes by the looks of it. Which is a bit odd. Anyway. And never quartz. It works with. So you should be able to mine all of yours quite easily with this and most of them without a problem. The only one I will have a problem with maybe is the redstone ore by the looks of it. If it's steep like the redstone uh, stone ore had no problem. But I don't know. Next we have the tree capitator. We just need a regular axe. Shift. Oh, it is a bit laggy, but as you can see, it is doing all of it, pretty much. Yeah, there are a few stragglers from time to time. But all you have to do is pillow up. And just... Yup. <laughs> it vein mined the nerd pole. Uh, the UV is just putting the one work. Yep. So all the so there is a this it does work really well. The only real problem is oh I forgot because there was logs just there. The moment I press shift, 
it activated very minor, which, yeah, like I said, you don't really need to even break a block, and that is a bit of an exploit. Uh, you don't even need a, um, oh, I actually can just do this with your hand, I just used an axe because it's going to be quicker. But yeah, um, just going to set that back to there. So, if I'll be able to show this off here. When I vein mine this tree, you will have some leaves left over, which isn't the greatest, but it's not the end of the world, to be honest. Like, oh no, a few leaves. Just Now I have to use my hand to smash them. We'll just wait until they naturally decay. Um, but yeah, with oaks, it's not really that big of a problem because they just they they just like to grow. Um, and let's just show off it working with all the other types of woods. Got this one to chop. And it all goes down. And you got acacia. Acacia is one of the more trickier ones. Because of all the like extra branches and everything. But again, it's not so, too big of a problem. You just need to pull up. You. And just whack them with your axe. It is pretty decent at getting all like the straggly bits, like there's only like a few stragglers left over. And for some reason, only like one of the saplings for the um, spruce and jungle grew. So the spruce is a bit odd because it does um, stop and I think that's to do... I don't know why I just took damage there. Um, but it's just a matter of just like nude pulling up and they're breaking it. Well, with the spruce, you don't really need to nude pull. You could just um, wait. You could. Just um, mine up without using vein miner. Just don't press, hot press. Just if I could speak words properly today, uh, just don't hold shift, break some blocks uh, going up, and then yeah, the smaller ones will break down real quick. Oh, <laughs> probably shouldn't hold shift because they're going to grow instantly and then get chopped down. You. Oh. So yeah, I'm gonna go turn that off. Uh, say back to tick speed of one. So are they not just constantly growing? Maybe. And then you've got dark oak. I forgot about those. As you can see, clears dark oak perfectly. Which is which isn't too difficult because it's probably one of the easier ones to get to clear perfectly. Is my inventory full my inventory is just full of wood and saplings. And then you've got the jungle trees. Which, yeah, do have a couple of stragglers. Let me just go to creative mode. And fly up there. Yeah, I can imagine these being one of the more difficult ones. To... Get to work properly. 
you. If you're actually modding the game. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna go empty my inventory. So it's just full of wood and saplings. And I might as well return it. And I need to return the axe anyway. So, axe in there. Yeah, you get lots of wood very quickly, like... Even just like going through... Oh, even just like going through... A uh, forest and just like chopping down... Some trees. You're gonna get... A lot of wood really quickly. Right, wood in there. Right, let's try to avoid picking up any more wood. Yeah, it is a little bit messy, but I think that's mainly because like the random tick speed I did earlier. Now, this one is a bit iffy, so they say that you can vein mine stuff like gravel, sand. They didn't say anything about soul sand or soul soil, soul but I want to just test them real quick and dirt. Um, but I've only managed to get it to work once with gravel, and even then I didn't don't know exactly how I managed to get it to work. So let's see if we can get it to work. Oh, we got it to work this time. I think you have to break it from the bottom. Uh, or you just have to hold shift for a bit longer maybe than the rest. Yeah, can't get sand to work. All red sand. All soul sand. Soul soil didn't really... Yeah, all soul soil. All dirt. All rooted, all coarse dirt. All rooted dirt. So yeah, gravel's just the only one out of them that you can actually get to work. Um, which is a little bit of a shame because I would really like it if you could uh, vein mine soul sand, uh, sand, sa red sand, sa soul sand, and soul soil because uh, getting a bunch of them would be nice if you like, because you need like soul sand and soul soil for uh, farms and you need sand for glass and uh, TNT and other stuff. So it would be nice if you could make vein mine them, but I think because like you can, there's just like a lot of like sand and a lot of dirt would also be useful for like terraforming, but I think because there's just such a large quantity of them, like especially if you go to the desert with sand, then it's probably going to cause a lot of lag. So, um, Probably wouldn't be very good. So, yeah, that's this mod basically. And I would give it probably a 7 out of 10. It would be an 8 if, in ch well, it would be an, probably be a 9 if enchantments uh, worked properly. Uh, with the ores, like Fortune increased the amount of drops you get, and Silk Touch made it so that they dropped the ores instead. It would be a 10 if you could, like, uh, get sand, uh, soul, uh, red sand, soul sand, and all that. And if the trees weren't as messy sometimes, like, yeah, not as many stragglers. I think that's more to do with like 
the range, maybe? Because I think it's just like as a certain range that this works within from the player, and I think uh, the tall trees just go outside that range, except for the acacia, which I just uh, messy. Uh, but yeah, pretty good, and definitely saves a lot of time. Um, and if you have like a tree farm, this will that like compacts the trees into a all the logs into a block, then this will be amazing because it just like it'll just clear the big block like it did with the uh, oak trees at the beginning. Um, so yeah, this is definitely a mod you should uh, check out. I'll leave. A link to where I got this mod in the description. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell. And apparently, um, this got rid of the beehive. So be careful of where you mine, because this may get rid of all the blocks that you don't intend it to get rid of. Because I don't think it dropped the beehive. Did it drop the beehive? It didn't drop the beehive. So you might want to be a bit careful of this. Um, but yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next video, and uh, bye bye